Next topic we are going to study is decarboxylation of amino acid. Very important topic decarboxylation of amino acid. There is an important amino acid known as glutamate. Our acidic amino acid. Glutamate decarboxylation means what? Removal of what? Carbon dioxide to form GABA. GABA is inhibitory type of neurotransmitter. What is the cofactor here? The coenzyme is vitamin B6, PLP. PLP means pyridoxal phosphate. PLP means what? Pyridoxal phosphate. Right? So the enzyme here will be glutamate decarboxylase. Glutamate decarboxylase. Okay? Now, next amino acid is tyrosine. Tyrosine will decarboxylate form tyramine. Now, next one is our tryptophan. Tryptophan will form tryptamine. Okay, so this is same cofactor will be there, enzyme will be decarboxylase. It means removal of carbon dioxide. Okay. Tyramine is from where the catecholamine will arise. All the catecholamine will comes from tryptamine. Catecholamine means norepinephrine, epinephrine and dopamine. Clear, right? So we are just revising what we have studied from all this. So we have studied some symbols, uh, things, or simple means, not complicated, very easy steps, right? So, so I am explaining you the important facts what we have learned. From first, so one word MCQ. One is simplest amino acid. Simplest amino acid was what? What? Glycine. Now, most basic amino acid was what? Arginine. Most basic was arginine. Okay. Now. Most hydrophobic is isoleucine. Most hydrophobic is isoleucine. For this arginine, you can add is also the most hydrophilic also. It's also most hydrophilic as well as is most basic. See to remember isoleucine, right? So I'll give you a story. So my teacher has given me a story. So isoleucine means um, if this is Delhi is your territory, okay? So Delhi is having two cities, two main cities. So these two cities have two kings, right? So there will be never two kings in one area. So there will be two kings that are same iso. So what they will do? They will be fighting. Hydrophobic. Just remember. Okay, if you need, you can use. No problem, just by that. Most hydrophobic is isoleucine. You will forget it later. Clear? Yeah, forget this. Isoleucine fighting hydrophobic. Okay. Now, other important things what we have studied is most abundant amino acid in our body. Most abundant amino acid in body. Total body they are asking. That is our alanine. Okay. Most abundant or most common. Then say most abundant amino acid in plasma. Plasma is our glutamine. Most abundant amino acid is glutamine. Now major inhibitory amino acid. What we have studied one is our GABA. The other one is glycine. Okay. One is our GABA and other one is glycine. Then now major excitatory amino acid. What is that our glutamate? Our glutamate. So I am adding one more point here. See abundant protein in body. Abundant protein in the total body. What is that? The collagen. The same question. Abundant protein in blood plasma. What is that? In blood plasma it will be albumin. 
clear? It will be what? Albumin. So these are all about the amino acid. Now we will move to the complicated part of biochemistry that is biosynthesis of urea.